This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I post an image on the new ZBrush Central? So to start off, I just have a browser window here opened up to zbrushcentral.com. And the question is asking about posting a image on the new ZBrush Central. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure we are logged in to ZBrush Central. So I'm gonna come and click on the login button here, which is going to open a little pop-up. In here, I wanna enter my username and then also my password and then log in. Now, after you are logged into Zebra Central, you now just need to come and click on the new topic button here, which will allow you to create a new post. So I'm gonna click this. This is going to open up the topic preview area. You can resize this by coming to the top area and clicking and dragging to make this larger or smaller. And now I can start composing my new post. First thing I need is a title. So I need to come to the top and type a title in here. After you have this typed in, you're going to get a little window that's gonna pop up that's going to show you topics with a similar title. So you can see as I typed in heart, I got topics that had anything with heart in the name. So you can use this to see if you wanna change your topic to something more unique. If you want to clear this out, just come up here and click this little X button here and that's going to now hide it. So now I have my topic created. I now need to pick a category on the new Zebra Central where to post my topic to. So I can click this, and here there is a list of different categories. So we have ZBrush Artwork, ZBrush Help and Support. We also have Community, Z Scripting, and ZBrush Core. So I'm gonna choose the ZBrush Artworks category and just click there. I can also add some optional tags, and this will allow your post to be searched by tagging. So I can come over here and add one of these, or I can use a pre-existing one. So I'm going to type in earthquake and use that as my tag and then hit enter. And now after I have my title, the category, and my tag, I can now start generating my post. Now in this window here, you can use Markdown, BB code, or HTML. So if you're familiar with any of those languages, you can use that coding in here to start generating your post. So I just want to come through and add some text and then post some images. So I'm going to type here to start generating my post. And as you'll see, as this is typed out, I'm going to get a preview of the post over here. So hey all, here's a quick work in progress image of a model I have been working on. Now after I have that text, I'm going to hit enter to give myself a little bit of space between the text and the area I want to post an image. And then on my desktop, I have saved some images. So I have this earthquake heart here and then also some cameras. So the best practice when creating a post on ZBrush Central is to create a new topic for each subject you want to post. Unlike the old ZBrush Central where you would generate a sketchbook type thread, on the new ZBrush Central the preview image that will be displayed is always going to be the first image in your post. So if I want my post to be displayed with this earthquake heart pendant here, I wanna make sure that this is the first image in my post, and I also wanna make sure it's in more of a vertical format. So you'll notice on Zebra Central, when the images are displayed, they're in more of this vertical format. So remember that the first image in your post is going to be the image that will be used when it's displayed on Zebra Central. So make your beauty shot your first image, and then also make sure it is in a vertical format. So going back to my images, to add an image, just have it saved anywhere on your machine, grab that image and drag it into your post, and the image will automatically be uploaded. So as you can see here, I just dragged the image into my post here. It's gone through and uploaded it and created the exact linking I need, and now it's going to be displayed over here in the preview area. So that process again is to just hit enter to give yourself a new line in your post, then locate the image you want to drag into your post, click it, drag it over, this will start uploading it, and then now it's going to show up in the preview. Now, dragging a URL into your post will also work as well, but it's not recommended. So as an example, if I come over here to this image here, which is on the Pixelogic website, and I copy the image location, and then now I go back to my post, and I hit enter to get a new line here, and then paste that URL here, you'll see that this image is going to be displayed in my post. However, it is not uploaded to ZBrush Central. 
So what this means is that if this image goes away at this URL, there's now going to be a hole in my post. So it is highly recommended that instead of direct linking to URLs for images, that you download the image to your machine and then using that same process of taking that image and dragging it into your post, this will allow that image to be uploaded instead of hotlinked. And then now that image will be stored on ZBrush Central. So anytime anyone goes to your post, that image will be there. Now, after you have these images added, you can also edit your post to remove these. So if I don't want this URL one here, because it is a bad practice to link directly to URL images, I'm just gonna delete that. And then let's say I don't want the camera images as well. So I'm gonna come across this and delete that. Another thing when editing your post is to make sure that you keep this little exclamation point in front of the images. So this little exclamation point right here is part of the required code needed to display the image. So if you're going through and editing your post, make sure that you do not remove that little exclamation point because that will go through and end up breaking that image. And then you'll need to go back to your desktop and drag that image in to have it re-uploaded and reposted. Now, one more thing, let's say with Earthquake here, he's a little risque, so he's got his shirt kind of opened here. So I may wanna put a mature content filter on this. So to do this process, I just need to highlight the code that's generating that image. And then you need to go to this little gear icon here. And in here, there's an option called mature content. So when I click this, it's going to add some extra code to my post here. And you'll see it's going to add spoiler code and now it's gone through and it's blurred out that image. So it's added a mature content filter to my image of Earthquake. Now, when this post goes live, a user will get this effect seen initially, and then if they click on it, it will then clear up and they'll be able to see the image. So to access the mature content filter, just go through and highlight the area in which you want that mature content filter applied to. Go to this little gear icon here, and then in here, there's a mature content button. You can click this and that will add the code to make your post a mature content post. Now, after you're happy with your preview over here, you can now post this to the thread by coming down here and clicking post. This will now create that post. And if you scroll down you can see here is my earthquake heart keepsake post. And then you can see the image has that mature content filter applied. If I click on it, it's gonna clear up. And now I have gone through and posted that image to ZBrush Central. If at any time you want to modify your post, you can just come down to the bottom of it. And there is this little pencil icon here. And if you hover over this, it's gonna say, edit this post. I can click this. This is going to open up the editor again here. In here, I can say, let's remove the spoiler tags for this. So the image will no longer have that mature content filter. I'll make sure that you keep that exclamation point when editing. After you're happy with those changes, I can come back down here and click Save Edit again. This is now going to update my post. And you can see now my Earthquake Heart Keepsake image is no longer being displayed with that mature content filter. So that is the quick process to post an image on the new ZBrush Central. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.